Hey everyone, Rob McMillan here from Rhombus Systems. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our E2 sensor, which does air quality monitoring. The E2 sensor is really taking off here in Canada where I am. It's taking off in the US as well. And we're working with our partner Eclipse Security to hopefully have it take off in Australia. So let's dive in and take a look at the sensor itself. Here's a quick one pager uh, I'll start with. Um, you can get this from Eclipse, they have access to these. So if you do wanna see um, this page, you can definitely get it. This is what it looks like in our console. So in our browser, um, this is what I'm gonna show you in a second. This is actually what the hardware looks like, a few things it does, about what it's detecting, it can monitor a few things. It's viewable in the console mobile app and you can get notifications when you know uh, vape is detected or THC or poor air quality is detected. Some of the specs, it's powered by a micro USB. Uh, if you only have an ethernet cable, uh, you don't have to worry because there is an adapter that basically goes ethernet to micro USB. Uh, it's rugged. So when you look at temperatures, it can be inside, it can be outside um, in cold Canadian temperatures and hot Australian temperatures. It detects a number of different things. Uh, and then in terms of accessories, you can connect a probe to it. So say you've mounted it in one room, you can actually run a probe and that probe could go into a different room. Uh, what it looks like, this is what it is on a ceiling. So it's pretty sleek looking, um, easy to install with screws. And then here's kind of that probe I was mentioning where you can just plug it uh, right in and you can run it into a different room. From the console, so this is now in the Rhombus console. This is what you see. Uh, currently, everything looks good in our server room where we have our E2 set up, but you can go in here uh, and you can say, for example, the air quality, we have a 2.1, which is good. If you click the little information, it gives you an idea of how we're getting these rankings and you could set your alerts based on this. So most of the people who are using this are putting poor as their uh, alert policy. So as soon as it hits four or higher, they're gonna get an email, a push notification to their phone or a text message. And then they'll know that, hey, the server room has uh, poor air quality. Lots of people are putting this, these in bathrooms. So in schools or in hotels, a big issue here is that um, people are going in, they're using vaporizers or these little vape pens with THC in them and they're actually smoking in the bathroom. So you'll get an alert as soon as we've detected this smoke. And what a lot of people are doing is putting a camera say outside the bathroom. So then they can go and they could actually see, hey, who went into that bathroom? And then we detected this THC smoke. We do give you little index points on the timeline. Like I said, fortunately, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. Um, we don't have any of the index points because everything's been pretty good here. Uh, but you'd be able to navigate and you'd have an index point like this. And this would say THC when it was detected. And then you could just go back from here and say, who, who was the last person who walked into that bathroom? Uh, you can actually change the camera around too. So I have it set to the server room where it's sitting. But if you wanted to just go and look at a different camera, or you, you wanted to add two cameras in here to kind of map where the person had gone, you could go and add different cameras. Uh, you can also play around with the alerts. So let me just go in, um, actually I'll go to settings. You can uh, play around with how the alerts come. So for the most part, you probably want these things to come 24 um, seven, but maybe there's something where, hey, I don't wanna get, get an alert when it's too hot or too cold during the day, because I don't know, we're in Australia and you left the door open or the AC turns on. So you could only have alerts come at a certain time for say uh, high temperature or low temperature, but then you could keep THC alerts on 24 seven. Uh, I think that's all for now. We're happy to do trials. We're happy to jump on calls and show you how this works. Like I said, Eclipse, our partner has those one pagers they can send over. Um, and yeah, we're excited to get started and roll out this E2 sensor. So thank you.